Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about backstack in fragments and how we can put one fragment in a backstack and how we can remove it from the backstack. So these are the methods that are commonly used in backstack management for fragments. The first one is add on backstack since listener. We can add one listener using this method. Second one is get backstack entry at. We can get one entry uh, using the index of that entry. Get backstack entry count. We can get the total count of backstack. Pop backstack. We can pop one transaction from a backstack. Pop backstack using name and flags. We can Again, it also pops the one transaction from my back, back stack. So, this is the project that I have used in our previous video. Here we have two buttons, red and blue. If I click on this blue button, it adds one fragment. Uh, this is a frame layout. So, these are two methods, on click red and on click blue. You can see that if I click on this blue button, then we are adding this fragment to this frame layout. This is blue fragment, we are adding this to frame layout. And here we are also adding this transaction, this transaction, fragment transaction to a backstack. So basically backstack means that we can add one transaction to it. It's not like we are adding one fragment to a backstack. It's like we are adding transaction to backstack. And we can also add one name that we are adding to the backstack. So first method is add on backstack since listener. Okay, before that, I will go to my XML file and I will add two more buttons here. Click on both right click clear constraints of selection i remove this constraint i'm clicking on one button i copied it Control c or command c then i'm pasting it it gives me one more button again i have pasting it gives me one more button here Select all these buttons, right click, chain, create horizontal chain, right click, organize, pack horizontally. Click on this top corner. I'm changing the name of it as green. And if I click on this button, this is gonna call this method on click green. And this button, I'm naming it as black. And it will call on click black and we don't have this method defines on click black black and on click green so if i go here this xml file you can see that it's our underline with red click on this more action create on click black in main activity similarly for on click green more action on click green for this button, we have not added any vertical constraint for this red button. Okay. Red button. Okay, we don't have this. Right. Now, if I go to this XML file, it is not showing any error. Then 
I'll go here this main activity and you can see that two new methods are generated on click black and on click green so I'm gonna create two more fragment files new fragment fragment blank one is black fragment I don't want this factory methods thus untick it this layout is fragment black click on finish what is this is fragment black and I'll delete this text view here and I'll change the background color here it is background I select change it to black then one more fragment new fragment fragment blank it's green fragment similarly i will delete this text view and i'm changing the background to green so we have one two three four fragments and we have four buttons red blue black and green so we'll add one backstack scenes listener it will listen for any backstack scenes and we'll print some logs so for that we need this fragment manager dot add on backstack scenes listener here we can get all this entries in the backstack like we can get the count using get backstack entry count and we can get specific entry using get backstack entry at using the index so i'll use on for loop for i in zero until fragment manager dot backstack entry count and i'll log it tag is main activity and we'll get this backstack get backstack entry at to get the backstack of position i then we'll get the name and it returns an option string so i'll use this to string method to get the string value if we are adding on black fragment then we'll add on black fragment here and if we are adding one green fragment then we'll add one green fragment here i'll add one variable here is count and whenever we are adding to the backstack we can add one name for the transaction we are adding transactions to the backstack so read okay oh sorry it should be beer where so we are incrementing the value of count and we are adding the name for blue it is blue for black it is black and for green it is green now if i rerun this app when the app is started we are also adding one fragment this red fragment i'm removing this part 
So currently this rate fragment is the default. I'm restarting the app. So by default we don't have any fragment. I'll open this log get and we have this log tag main activity. If I click on this blue, it adds this blue fragment and on the back stack we have this blue one. If I click on this green, we have blue one and green two. If I click on this black, we have blue one, green two, black three. Similarly, if I click on this red, blue one, green two, black three, red four. And if I click on this green again, okay. I have clicked green, then I'll click blue. So blue, green, black, red, green again. It's five, blue, six. So we have different types of transactions stored on this back stack. We can use this method pop back stack to remove one transaction from a back stack. That means when at this position we have the blue fragment at top, if we pop do the pop back stack, then it will show us this green fragment. It will remove this transaction. For that, we'll add one more button here. I've copied it and I'm pasting it here. And remove these constraints. Put it in the center. Click controller or command and click on this buttons to add constraint or you can drag it to the right and left We'll call our method. It's called on click pop. Text is pop. If I go here and we don't have this on click pop, so this is the method it will call. And here we'll call this pop back stack method. Let me add one more line to separate all these logs. Okay, I'm restarting the app. We have this blue, blue green, blue green black. Let me increase the window size. Blue green black red. If I click on pop, we have only blue green black. If I click on pop again, we have blue and green. If I click on this pop again, then we have only blue. So the transactions are removed using this pop back segment. We also have, we can also pass this name of this transaction, and we can alternately pass one flag. Suppose let me add one edit text box here. I'm removing this. I'm adding one text box here.
the ID of this text box is edit text. So we can get the text that we will enter on this edit text and we can pass this text with the second flag as zero we have blue green black suppose i want to remove all these fragment transactions up to green too okay let me add few more blue green black so we have three four five six transactions here so i want to remove up to black tree here i'll write it as black tree if i click pop it will remove all these transactions up to black tree using this method this second flag uh, this zero if you see the definition here it defines pop backstack inclusive so we can pass it as one to include that fragment as well so currently if I'm clicking that uh, if we are popping it for up to black tree it's not removing the black tree so if i add this as one and if i rerun it let me add some fragments if i want to remove till green tree including green tree then we need to pass this flag as one so this is the basics of fragment injection and how we can add fragment injection to a backstack how we can pop out from from a backstack if you love this video please like and subscribe to my channel thanks bye